Here we are again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to round seven of the Surf Ironman Qualifying Series brought to you by Mitsubishi Electric. I'm here with T Golding. He's going to give you the ups and downs of what's going on today, mate. How's the beach looking? Yeah, driving you home on a Sunday afternoon, TJ and Kev. Um, beach is sunny, lovely. There's a cracking swell. It's six foot plus, um, six pushing ten foot. Um, and the boys are a bit excited about it. Possibly 12. Let's go. Look at it. That, oh, that, oh, get in, son. Get in. Stay in. Look at that barrel at the back. Somebody is does not like sunburn. We've got Michael Booth on the line, Josh Minogue, uh, Nick Anderson, a bunch of guys that have done well throughout the series. Six rounds in now, and we're in the final stages. Jake Nicholson, front and centre on the screen, is currently sitting seconds in the series, and he's set to go well to take over the lead. Doing well, the young fella. I think he... Oh! I mean, he's off the... Uh, Craft, yeah. Oh, we've we cursed him. Again. <laughs> we've cursed him straight away. <laughs> we should start again, but we'll push through. All right, let's do, let's keep going. Uh, I just have to apologise for my excitement earlier. Uh, you know, surfing and barreling and swear words, etc. What we're all about is the Mitsubishi Electric Surf Line Qualifying Series. This is the final round. Josh Minogue um, heads into this final round with a slight lead over Jake Nicholson with Nick Anderson, uh, Cam Gordon, uh, a few other blokes uh, really nipping at these heels. Wade Krieger, who's um, fortunately not here due to a patrolling mishap. Um, and they've actually snuck through the waves quite well. Yeah, actually uh, it opened up for them there, didn't it? Poor old Jakey uh, ended up, and there he is, come in, coming up the back there. He ended up on his lid, which is no good for the young fella. He's actually leading our junior series, I believe. He's leading the junior series, but we've got Nick Anderson in front, who's had a couple of good races here. He headed to Victoria um, and pulled a few points away down there. With Trying the to pull place. down the front wave there, mate. Oh, so he's got he, his rating up. He might, might get the field. Has anyone else got on it? No. All over. Get the field. Well done. Well what a done. boring race. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there's pl still plenty to go with. Uh, Man, I thought you said it was six foot. It's breaking on the bank um, occasionally. <laughs> uh, not so much. So he's, he's picked a nice smaller one to take him home to shore. And that's going to give him a good little lead going into the rest, second and third legs. Certainly will. You can see uh, the Gold Coast skyline in the background there. It's a good setting. Oh, like there's Michael Booth. In yeah. Oh, oh, not shit. anymore. <laughs> he decided he didn't want to borrow that short break. There's a replay for you. Nah, thanks very what much. What a replay. I'm pretty yeah. excited about the replay. That's Josh Minogue also pulling down the wave, and he's managed to uh, negotiate that little break a lot better than Boothy. You're pretty impressed with your little uh, editing skills there, aren't you, TG? Uh, it wasn't me. Yeah, of uh, course it wasn't. Jackson Maynard and uh, Dan Booth, um, the, the younger brother of the... Um, Late great um, in the water swimming home, Michael Booth. <laughs> um, long, long transition there, mate. Do you think that'll really hurt some of the competitors? It will. It's um, we've got Dan Booth, uh, Carol Bloke, which I haven't got the name of, Jackson Maynard in eighth, and rounding out the top ten, Lukey Carf going into the board. But yeah, that's a long transition with a low tide, isn't it? Saw Kemi Cole running in there. I saw uh, Kemi Gordon running in there. There's uh, that's. That's the current series leader, Josh Minogue, Josh Minogue, pushing through now. But I did see Cam uh, Cole on, on a yellow yellow board, and he's paddling his signature board out now. Yeah, um, I can great see. Great board paddler in the field, along with um, Ollie, that's Dane Wind Shuttle. Ollie Piddock still in the mix. And there it's Jake Nicholson, who had the mishap at the start, so he's still trying to work his way back through the field. So he's lost some serious ground off um, a few of the guys up the front at the moment. Nick Anderson's still in front. But they're uh, copying a few ways on that bar now. Yeah, it's going to be uh, interesting here to see if they uh, it really it really pushes them back because it's heavy on that outside bar here at Kura today. Beautiful conditions for surfing. Sun's up. Everyone's having a great time. It's set for these Ironman trying to get out there. So uh, new begin. Donning the new togs. Um, not right going so well. Right at the back. He must have had a shocking ski leg. Fortunately for he's, him. He's one of the strongest ski paddlers in the field and a several Definitely. times uh, Nutrigrain Ironman competitor. So for him to be at the back of the field shows the strength of the front of the field and and a bit of an unfortunate event for him, I suppose. Who's that just passing the uh, can first here, is that? That's not Cammy Cole, is it? That is Cammy Cole. Jeez, you picked that like a dirty nose, didn't you, mate? Well, uh, I can pick a nose, no worries. I'm look sure at those coming through now. They're yeah. cracking. Yeah, it's look at it's a oh. beautiful wave out there, isn't it? Would have been lovely to see a few of them cop one of them on the head. Yeah, 
Yeah, definitely. It was, uh, it was, I see Joshy trying to push down a wave with uh, Zach Tannen Linden and Kim Kevin Cole. Cole. So it looks like it's a race in three at the moment. Tannen's yeah. got the better end for the uh, flag coming up, but they're going to have to put, what, negotiate that uh, trough there that they're pushing through now. Yeah, it can be tricky. It can get fat and uh, the wave can get fat in the wrong place and really make it hard to push over, but it looks like this one's going to carry them through fairly easily. Tannen Linden's a current uh, professional series competitor, um, so he's doing doing well in that and, and showing the boys why he's in the, um, in the front in that. Yeah, he's uh, a young guy still, just trying to make his mark on the series and, 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 and get some experience and hopefully he can get up and uh, make himself proud, Reed. Really. <laughs> make himself <laughs> proud, alright. But he's a phenomenal runner actually and this will soon him running through those transitions. Actually, hey, can we stop talking about him? I work with him and I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> alright, his head's big enough. Yeah. Oh, and there he is again. Yeah, yeah that, that'll be hardly, cool. hardly fits in the screen. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got Josh Minogue and Cam Cole um, sitting second and third. Speaking and of big heads, I think Chris Moore's just ran past. <laughs> Back in the series. Good to see you there, Chris, the Kiwi. He's got a he's got a giant melon on him and it uh, it really is a problem. I think it has its own gravitational pull that thing, but uh, <laughs> But he's out there, he's a fantastic swimmer and um, Current New Zealand Ironman champion He certainly the, is, yeah. he certainly is So it'd be, it's good to see him in here Having a really good crack at SIQS This is the last leg and it looks like that chase pack Is really right on the toes of that um, Those front three Yeah, yeah it looks like they're uh, It could come down to a wave here Where did Kimmy Cole end up? There's some good uh, footage Jakey Nicholson showing the young grommies how it's done um, A bit of solid Bunny hopping but um, Bunny hopping, is that what we call it these <laughs> days, Trent Golding? Yeah, no, he doesn't have a board with him, so... Duck diving, maybe? Duck diving will yeah, do. Yeah, right, okay, we'll go with that. But showing some good form. I'm not a swimmer, mate, you tell me. Here we go, the boys are around the last can. Uh, exactly. Last can, yep. Yeah. Coming in now. There's, a, there's the winning wave. You winning can wave. I can't see who it is, though. Well, that could be the Northcliffe Cup of Tan and Linden, though. Could be, I imagine so. He's just fallen off the back of that, so he's probably opened the gate for uh, the, the Moorabah competitors, but there he is. He's up. He's up early. It's uh, it's plain sailing from here. All over Red Rover. He's done well. He's, he's, come, he's coming for a high five there. He's veering off course. Oh, a kiss for mum. A kiss <laughs> for mum. Sick. You beauty. You well do done. That. You can. You can stop and kiss mum. Why not? You cannot do that. You can. And I'll give him all sorts of... Um, Backwards comments for that at work, but wow. you know, well, well played. So Joshy Minogue, he's in, second, in and I believe <laughs> taking out the SIQS title. Josh Minogue was already in front, so with another win, it's um, it's done and dusted. I think that's a foregone conclusion that he's won you the think? series. I think it yeah. will be hard for others to beat him, <laughs> since he was in front, and it now will he's be hard won from here. <laughs> If they can try. Uh, no, it's been good though. Um, Luke Cuff and uh, Chris Moores, a couple of Cairo competitors, quick over the line with um, with Tannen and Michael Booth from Northcliffe and Cam Cole and Josh Minogue. So there's a couple of strong clubs. Yep, um, Ollie Pettit coming over as well. So uh, Right up the front there. Nathan Gray, Jackson Maynard, who's done well in the series. Um, he's going to have another solid finish. But Joshy Minogue taking out the series for the uh, inaugural year, I believe. Congratulations to Joshy Minogue on the Mitsubishi Electric SIQS overall points winner. Um, Mate, he's been consistent, effort. hasn't he? He's, uh, he's really got out there and, uh, and put it to the guys, and he's uh, well deserved. Much like I must say myself over you and golf today. <laughs> Huge thanks for Mitsubishi Electric. Great day here at Kura, and uh, we hope to see you again very, very soon for the next series Big of plans for 2012-2013 we'll see you there thanks to everyone that supported us cheers <laughs>